uh, map sensor. Um, so I think I'm gonna try to go ahead and replace that today on mine. Um, I'm gonna get the Bosch one, the Mercedes one online. I just didn't feel like waiting next week, next week after that, week after that week for them to mail it to me. So I just went down to a local auto parts store and got one from Napa. Uh, around the same price too so i'm just going to go ahead and quickly take this off so once again you're going to stick with your uh torque screw number number e10 uh put that on there to the uh, one bolt there's only one that goes on there the other one's kind of hanging free all right so there's only one that goes on there and the other one's kind of hanging free you can see down here it's just by itself so take your e10 and just uh quickly uh, unscrew that it's going to take a couple seconds to do if it wants to come off right let's see i'm not inside the road or anything that i'm actually at work i'm about to leave in a little bit and i was like i'm excited i want to do this now to see if it makes any improvement at all with uh what I'm trying to fix but it doesn't matter if it does or not because this is repair work on the car that's 20 years old all right so I'm gonna take that screw off okay now the sensor the sensor should be hooked up to um, sorry guys can't really see too well there's a hose that's behind here um, that's actually right right there that you have to take out and then the um, connector on here so let me see if I can pull that out I need two hands in order to do that but I think you guys get to the gist of how to unplug that and just pull it up pull it right out okay I'll come back once I get those off all right let's take this out put this somewhere and uh, open you guys can kind of see a little bit what I'm doing see it has a hose that's underneath here and you can check those too to see if they have any kind of leaks or anything like that favorite sound well no, I should say the most annoying sound ever is that thing the truck backing up all right now we're just going to kind of push that in there it's a really tight space to work with but you can see how that hose needs to go and guys can kind of see plug it up at after you put the hose on uh, all right remember only one side goes on take your 10 I mean your e uh, e10 see how that kind of snaps on there kind of easily the hose is on there Everything is pretty much on there nice and tight. And then take your uh, E10. I'm just kind of going out of focus, but. Straight. All right, and that should pretty much be about it. Um, 